Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nog. Welcome along to a brand new Thinking With Time Machine video. Today we're going to play Seize by Fumbly Bumbly. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's jump into the description. First chamber, easy difficulty. Second chamber, medium difficulty. Main elements are piston platforms, faith plates, and a light bridge. No portals are required to solve either puzzle. No staying on recording shoulders is required either to solve either puzzle. Sorry. Uh, second chamber has a me mechanic that can be a bit finicky. It often works fine, though. Please report any exploits such in the comments. Your feedback is appreciated. All right. Remember, I can't... Um so used to, you know, jumping around to, for movement. All right, so remember, think with time machine controls here. That might be a thing I need to do. Okay. So players. Oh man. I totally forgot what the controls are. <laughs> Let's do that. Press the button. Can't stand back on here, just in case. Did I give myself enough time to get up there? I don't know. F. Okay. Okay, so now that I'm up here. Start new recording. Do that. And then I go down here. Start on the button. Release the button. Press the button. Are you kidding? <sighs> Alright. I don't know why I did that. Oh, it's because I pressed R. You dummy. Don't press R to cancel the thing. Okay. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Get me up to the top. Press the button. Okay. And then what we should be able to do is I need to get up to the top, then restart the recording. Like so, play the recording. There we go. All right. Part two. Single cube for the exit. Okay. Turns off the light bridge. So I'm thinking we're going to need to do that. So that pulls me back up to the top. Thank you. 
Also does something else. Ooh, that sounds like it spawned a cube. Interesting. Okay. It's good job I stood there for long enough, right? So then... Wait, 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 wait! Where does this send me? Oh... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So I'm going to have to respawn the cube anyway. <laughs> Do I need to use... There's, there's a technique you can use, isn't there? I just want to try this. That's what I need to do. Alright, but to do that, I gotta go all the way back to the beginning. Okay. I think putting it here is gonna be key. So what if I stood here for long enough? And I then do something like... i got to think about this though. Because if... Um... If I leave this button at any point, oh hey, Sean, Sean, um, Chill. 
All right, hold on. Let's do this. Stand here, stand here, stand here. I'm up to the top. All right, so send myself up. Then I stand on this button again. I think I made enough self, self enough time to come down here. Walk over to here, walk over to here, walk over to here. Drop the cube on the outside. At which point, I will also come in here and stand on this button. So that when I leave here... Just got to be wary of when I actually um, pick up the cube because it's going to respawn a couple of times. So this should be its last respawn here. stand here please pick up the cube oh you turd Get this time. But I'm not going to make it this time. Sure, I got the cube. Okay. So that's now left that done like that. What does that do for me? You know what? Maybe I've maybe I've overcomplicated this because I could use that. I'm trying to think if there's another way to do it. I mean, it would seem like the intended is to do to use this cube because it's a faith plate that bounces back at that panel. All right, so I think I could break this. I think I can break this. I mean, granted, it is using a um, an exploit as such. But I mean, technically, all you you what you could do is do what I did before. Now, the reason I don't think that is right 
as I was saying before, is we have that faith plate down there. And I believe the intended solution I think the intended solution should involve using that. So but the real question is Once I've got this from here, I don't need to necessarily stand on. Just trying to think. Let's see, I'm just trying to think of the order I need to do this. See, I've got to use a cube, haven't I? I've got to use a cube on one of these buttons. So let's get the cube down again. I need something like longer than that, or else I'm not going to be able to. I'm not going to be able to then. Bring the cube down to here. I would say to if I close this off maybe Gives me a constant like stream there. But my camera's lagging again. I apologize. Um How does that really help me? Because then the minute I try and get back, I've got to get back up there. So yeah, that doesn't really help.
Oh my goodness. So it can't go on here. Closes that. I didn't go down. Uh. Okay. Does this help? <laughs> Unless, hold on. Do I need to place the cube here? Maybe I need to do like a full circle. I just wonder, do I need to put the cube on there? Alright, so let's think about this then. To do this, what am I going to need to do? I would have to... Alright, so maybe I get up there first. Let's, let's get to the top first. Maybe I need to start everything at the top. But that just returns me back to the beginning, so that doesn't and nothing for me. And even if I was trying to go around, that wouldn't work because I don't have enough time then to get back down to there.
It feels like I'm breaking the map, but I don't know what else I can do. I have no idea. I can't record a recording. Oh, this thing, I, I could send my player up to the top. My player could then come back down and Alright, so player goes up top, player gets queued, player comes back down. Then... I was going to say I could swap positions with the recording. The recording comes out. Unless... Unless I don't come back down. So I get the cube. And I drop the cube through the hole. My clone then gets the cube. That could be it. Alright, let me think about this then. So, let's think, let's think, let's think. So, start recording. Start recording. Send up. I pick up the cube. I bring it over to the hatch and I drop it. Then what I do as a player is I go around and I go and stand on I go and stand on the button at spawn. Now, hopefully, this has dropped in the right position. That's the only problem. It's a... I take that. I go down to here. Place the cube there. Then I stand on here, which will fling that up to onto the platform. I step off the platform. Something like that. Alright, so. I just gotta get up here. The only thing about this is, like, the dropping of the cube. I 
got to try and get the cube in the right spot when it drops. Which isn't necessarily easy. New cube. We'll see. I have reservations. Seems a bit fiddly. Nope, she got it. She got it. That to me sounds like it's the finicky mechanic that Fumbly Bumbly was talking about. Must be an easy way though to do this. <sighs> My goodness. Did it first time. No, I can't do it again. Sounds about right. Maybe. Do you know what? I'm just gonna make sure that she definitely gets it. I'm taking that. I'm taking that as a victory. I think that's the fiddly, finicky mechanic that Fumbly Bumbly was talking about. Um, whether or not dropping that there is the right thing to do, I don't know. But I don't see any other way to do it um, without respawning the cube. But yeah, I am going to take it. Thank you very much. It is a good map. Um, second part is definitely a bit of a brain tease in, in, indeed.
And uh, as always, nicely made, family bromley Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any match to play, please leave them in the comments or head over to my Google form. I'll link to that in the description. But until next time, I've been Knock, you've been awesome. See ya.